Hey guys and welcome back to our WX Python layout series here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at the grid bag sizer. Okay? This is a child of the flex grid sizer which happens to be a child of the grid sizer. Okay? Which are two other sizers in WX Python. The reason I'm telling you all this is just so that you are aware of the hierarchy and that you should also know that the functions that are available to grid sizer and flex grid sizer are also available to grid bag sizer. This is something kind of important to keep an eye on, okay? Because if you want, if you want to truly learn grid bag sizer, you should also go and learn the grid sizer and the flex grid sizer, okay? To fully cement your concept, okay? So, yeah. Briefly describe what the grid bag sizer is. As you all might already know, the grid sizer divides the window into rows and columns and you just add widgets sequentially, okay? You add in the first widget, it goes into the first cell, you add another widget, it goes into the next one, and so on. But the grid back sizer gives you a lot more control over this, okay? Gives you a lot more control over how you can add the widgets into your GUI window, okay? So you can actually specifically mention, I want to put this widget into that cell, okay? And so on. This might not make much sense right now, but I assure you it will. So let's go ahead and continue. I'll create the sizer, okay, grid bag sizer, okay, and pass in the two parameters for the rows and columns, something like, how about four and three, okay? And then I'm gonna go here and do sizer.add, okay? I'll just use the add instead of using add many this time. So I'm gonna add in some static text widgets, or you know what, let's add in some buttons, buttons instead, okay? So what I'm going to do here is button, okay, self.panel is the parent, and label will be one, okay, and okay, that's good. Now what are the other parameters? Pause, okay, this is the, of the most important parameter to the grid bag sizer, okay, so I'm going to put this in the zero, zero position, okay. Now let's run this code, or actually we need to do something first, self.panel dot set sizer put in the sizer here okay and we can see that it's now in the zero zero position okay this is not a very good example right now okay if i add in a few more you'll be able to understand this okay and be sure to change the positions accordingly because it will give an error if you try inserting a widget at a location where there's already in a widget okay so you see, this is how things are going, okay? Now, let's just keep adding these, okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And we need to keep changing these locations as well, okay? What, what, what am I doing, what am I doing? This is supposed to be two, okay? And there's still a few more things that I want to add. Okay, this goes over there, this goes over there, and right now I'm about to demonstrate something really cool that you can only really do in uh, the grid back sizer. Okay, watch. Okay, so I just left this middle one completely blank. Okay, I just made a little keypad over here, a basic keypad. Okay, this is something kind of interesting. I can leave this one completely blank because I, I can control which ones I'm, you know, inserting widgets into. So I can be like, nah, don't insert a widget over there. And, you know, it, it won't, okay? So this is something pretty cool. Now let's just stylize this a bit because it looks kind of weird right now, okay? So for the flags, let's add in WX expand, okay? And I hope this actually works, does it? Come on. Well, no, not really, okay? I'm pretty sure I know what's going on, but just let me do all this, okay? If I use expand on these, that's the first step anyway, to getting these to expand, okay? Maybe we need to add in the proportion too, okay? Let me just take a look at this. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, of course, of course. All right, so yeah, that was just something I was trying out because I actually know how to get this done properly, and that's using the growable, add growable row, and add growable column. 
Okay, what this does is basically tells the sizer that which rows are meant to grow, okay, and which ones are not meant to, which ones are meant to stay at their default values. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is say that which rows do I want to grow? Well, I want all, all of them to grow, okay, so I'm going to do zero, okay, zero for the zeroth row, okay, and for the first row, for the third row, for the fourth row, and for the columns, I'll say, yeah, I want all of the columns to grow as well. So I'll just copy this a bunch of times, one, two, and take a look at this now. There you go. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Okay. So if, if I want to customize this even a bit more, what I could do is hmm, add in some static text. Hold on. I want to add in some text at the top as kind of a heading. Okay. So I'm going to do something kind of weird. I need to adjust all these positions too. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. And we're here. I'm going to copy this. Put in some static text here. Static text. Okay. It has the same label parameter, but I'm just going to change this to my little keypad. Okay. And change the position to zero and one. Okay, we don't need the expand parameter over there. And voila. Okay, but there's still one slight issue. The my little keypad, it's not really aligned properly. Okay, like it's not center aligned. So I'm going to add in another flag for align center. Okay. Uh, hold on, yeah, B sorry, wx dot align center. Okay, so now it's center aligned. Okay, so pretty cool. Now, I, this video was kind of random. I discussed a lot of random stuff. Okay, we did we did a bunch of different things in no definite order. But the important thing to keep in mind here is that, um, um, hold on, what was it? Yeah, this is how you use the grid bag sizer, and this is its benefit. Okay, you can control things like this. Okay, you can specifically mention which ones you want to add and which ones you don't want to add. Okay, where you want to add it. So it's kind of like absolute positioning where you get to choose where you can add in your widgets. Okay, so if you want a semi-manual approach, and this is a good way of doing it. Okay, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's it for now, and we're done with our WX Python series at this point. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if there's anything else that you want to see, something else that you're, you think maybe we missed out on, so go ahead and mention it, and hopefully we'll add it. Otherwise, see you guys in some other series, okay?